Next news. In Hamburg, Germany, Iran executes high number of gays, says German intelligence. A newly released domestic intelligence report from Hamburg revealed that the Islamic Republic of Iran's execution spree targeting gays and lesbians continues unabated. According to a previous 2008 British WikiLeaks, uh, WikiLeaks document, Iran's regime has executed between 4,000 to 6,000 gays and lesbians since the country's 1979 Islamic Revolution. The German intelligence data establishes the high rate of executions among gays and lesbians since 2008. Um, Hamburg's intelligence service appears to be the first domestic service security agency to cite the Iranian regime's destruction of its LGBTQ community. Wait, so the numbers are 4,000 to 6,000 from when to when? From 1979 to 2008. So and then this the, new report hmm. establishes that it has continued unabated. Wow. Okay. So since the Islamic Revolution, at least, because I thought the number was 3,000, but this is 4,000 to 6,000. That's crazy. And the number... That like, was 10, 12 years ago that hmm. that number came out. And this is a new report that came out to, recently by the German intelligence? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so it's so it's so ironic that now it's okay. This is not what about is them, okay? Because when you call out both, it's it's hypocrisy, right? Pointing out hypocrisy is not what about is them, right? I'm just gonna say that before I point this out, because the Iranian government is using the killing of Floyd, right? And the protest in the United States to to say, look how bad the United States is. Look at the human rights violations in the United States. It's insane coming from a country that has killed four to six thousand people for being gay. Imagine the other things that other crimes that uh, victimless crimes that people have been killed for, like adultery, blasphemy. Uh, cry like w one of the this you know actually coming up with these numbers is really difficult. This is why like you need like very sophisticated intelligence agencies to be able to analyze these things, because the way that they reported a lot of these crimes, the way they reported in Iran, is waging war against God, or spreading corruption on Earth. These are Quranic terms, right? Like spreading corruption on Earth is uh, is actually a term copied from the Quran uh, or waging war against God. And they don't specify exactly what they did, spreading corruption on earth. It could be, I don't know, gay sex. It could be adultery. And that, that's why it's hard to say, like, what did they do? Uh, so coming, and they do that on purpose, right? Uh, for you, for you to, to make, for, to make it difficult for you to track their human rights violations. But, Again, this is it, it, it's sad to me how so, so many people uh, in in response to being against United States um, involvement in the Middle East, which should be called out, should be challenged, should be criticized. But there are some people I see, some content makers and some activists, all of a sudden take the step on defending countries like Iran. Um, or Saudi Arabia. I mean, less than Iran, I see a lot. A lot of people seem to be appreciating Iran's anti-U.S. stance. Or every time you point these human rights violations, they were like, well, United States also. Honestly, if you read this and then think, well, United States also, or Western countries also, you are so... You're so lost. I don't know if I could, if we could even get you back. I hope we could get you back, but because you have completely, you don't understand how to look at put things in context properly. If you can, if you think that it's even close, and if you're anti, you know, Western imperialism activism goes to all of a sudden defending countries like the Islamic regime of Iran, then you're a lost cause. I mean, I hope not. Actually, let's not give up hope on anybody. But you are really far out there. And I hope you see how ridiculous you're being. But anyways, go, sorry, that was just a rant. <laughs> Shubham, do you have any thoughts? Or Rivka? 
well i well one thing about the american thing like this is what i think like many i've seen many americans and westerners in general like saying americans are so self centered when they think about their uh, only america and never look outside they think like oh uh, this is mostly about the conservatives usually this right. is being said like they always think america is so great and everything and stuff like they're so self centered but when the opposite side says like oh but we have got this in america any kind of problem which uh, the rest of the world has oh but we have got this in america as uh, to so focus on this i think that's also like a point of being like there's they're still being so self centered that they cannot look to the actual points and other parts of the world they have to uh, shift the focus to america again for everything that i'm thinking this exactly is i that's exactly true i mean they're still centering the united states in every discussion whether it's how bad the united states is or look what the united states did or we're the worst which i think is sort of the opposite side of that idea of we're number 1 american exceptionalism in the sense that they still believe that because if we're the best we must be the best at being the worst right it's this other side of the american exception like they, they're both mm -hmm. the same of this the two sides of the same coin the people exactly. that think america is the best at everything but then the other people are like oh no america is the worst at everything they just want to bring everything back they're so american centrist they just want to bring everything everything has to be about them right you it's know, just they, navel gazing it, it yeah. really is and it just shows that how small their scope of viewing the world is because it's always <laughs> revolving around themselves or exactly. the US. i mean when i was in when I was in Antifa, there wasn't a single problem that I did not think could be attributed to America or Western imperialism, which is exactly your point. Like it's ridiculous. Right. I'm gonna I read mean, some. I I understand like the part that when you live in a country and hear about things and rest of the world, you will relate to some things. But shifting the focus every damn time, like to your country for everything, that's that's very self centered. All right, so I'm going to read a few comments um, here in the live chat by Sarah and John. Sarah is saying almost all countries have their own human rights abuses going on. Any time one country calls another one out on its uh, on it publicly, it's about politics more than anything else, in my opinion. Um, okay, I don't know what what you mean, Sarah, because um, some every country has human rights violations, but that doesn't mean. Are, are, do some countries have way worse human rights violations than other ones? Okay, you can't. This is very, a very Christian mindset. Like you know how Christians are like, we're all sinners. Some of us steal gum. Some of us lie to our mothers. Some of us rape children. Some of us commit genocide. It's all just sins. We're all just sinners. Like this is the same like, human rights. Yes, all countries have human rights violations, but there's a difference between I don't know Switzerland and fucking North Korea. Okay, when it comes to human rights violation, uh, it, there needs to be a more aggressive push against North Korea than it, than fucking Switzerland, right? So, and and yes, I agree. Some people use there are a lot of people. There's a lot of uh, politicians. They use human rights violations not because they give a shit about human rights, but because they're using it for some other agenda. But that doesn't mean us activists shouldn't fight against human rights violations just because some people misuse human rights violations for other agenda. Well, then you don't replace that by like, okay, yeah, this is me being misused, so I'm not going to care about. It. No, I'm not saying you don't care. So we shouldn't. We should just wash our hands away from. Calling other countries out for their human rights violation? No, you replace people. You replace the calling out of human rights violations by countries with by people with agendas by calling out human rights violation for the sake of calling out human rights violations. Okay, you you come up, you give your alternative. You're like, you know what? I'm going to call out Iranian government because this is fucking insane they're killing gay people that's what i'm calling it out i don't have any other agenda i'm my agenda is human rights matter okay to replace it with the right you know intentions so um i mean I, I could i could also by the way mention that 
no, should I mention this should be irrelevant? But Sarah, I'm from Iran. Do I get a permit from you to talk about uh, human rights violation? This shouldn't matter, right? It shouldn't matter, right? So you say other countries, like do you like? So do you have the same standard? Like, okay, so for if somebody from Iran or somebody from Mexico or somebody from I don't know, Canada comes out and calls out the human rights violations of the United States. Do you have the same standards? Like, do people come out like, well, yeah, Trump is like doing these human rights violations, but you're from Canada. You have no, why are you calling this out? It's not your country. It's a human rights violation. You should call it out. It doesn't matter where the fuck you are from. We're all from the, you know, we all should care for each other. We should care for, in fact, we should care more about it. it you know, the, those countries where, the, where they have the greatest human rights violation, you need more people from other countries to speak about it because they can't. They, they're not allowed. So outside interference and out, out, outside calling out of the human rights violation is more important because there's no free speech. They need other people to be their voice. Okay. Another th comment I want to respond to is by John. John saying... Definitely, Sarah, we have large Iranian community here in San Diego. They mostly are very pleasant, egalitarian people. Okay, John, I really hate this. First of all, this is not specific about any group of people, okay? Iranians are mostly good people. Okay, Iranians are good people. They have bad people. They, you know what? You, every... All the fucking planet are mostly good people, I think. Maybe I'm too optimistic, okay? You don't, you shouldn't, there's no benefit in saying like, oh, this, this, you know, this is what I get. Every time I tell people like, oh, um, where are you from? And like, um, I'm from Canada. Like, oh, no, like, where are you actually from? Like, oh, okay, I'm from Iran. And they're like, oh, yeah, I know a lot of Iranian people. They're so great. I love Iranian people. And I'm always like, you love Iranian people? Like, really? Like, have you met all of them? Because they have a shit ton of assholes, just like everywhere else. Like, it's just but like Reza it's a... down at the gas station is so nice. Yeah, but I, I, I just, I mean, yeah, because <laughs> people are nice in general. Like, I don't think this is like it's such a, you know, it's kind of like saying, oh my God, women are so much better, or like, these uh, these kind of people are so great. It's just like it. It's a compliment that is like kind of, I don't know. It's kind of in, in childish in some way. Like, do, are, are we are we just giving out compliments because of your race? Because you know, it doesn't it doesn't do much. Just it, I mean, I'm I'm a, such a harsh individualist. Maybe I think maybe that's why I see a collectively complimenting people for me is as cringy as collectively blaming an entire group of people right i mean one of them is more destructive to be fair but they're both cringy right they're both very cringy to be like oh these group of people this entire group of people are like if like they're horrible that is to me like if that's logically wrong as wrong as complimenting an entire group of people but i mean I'm, to be fair to john yes most people are in general are good we're not, we're not tell, saying Iranian people are bad. We're saying the government and the values that are dominating over people in Iran are currently destructive and more destructive than most other countries, right? So that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping I didn't shit on John's comment too much because he does have a lot of good comments. Here, let me actually... Uh, John is saying, of course, I'm making the point that many Iranians in the US, USA are looked at as if they are extremists in iran yes but i'm saying what i'm saying john is like yeah i'm let's be fair to john john uh you just triggered me because you reminded me of a whole bunch of other things people say i'm not i'm not trying to focus on what john's saying but i'm just trying to suggest that to to remedy that we sh we shouldn't collectively make it seem like an entire group of people cannot do are all good but john was not saying that it's just triggered a whole bunch of uh, 
bad experiences in my mind. Sorry, John, I didn't mean to. Yeah, John is saying, John is clarifying. It's, it is not a compliment. I w it was a response to Sarah's area. Yes. Anyway, yes. So, yeah, anyways. Hold on, hold on. One thing oh, Sarah God. is saying. No, Sarah's comment is too long, so I'm, just, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to leave it up on the screen for anybody who wants to pause and read it in response to what we said. Okay, um, finally, I want to say that I found this German intelligence report. Actually, someone helped me find it on Twitter. If there's anyone that speaks German who could help me read this report, I would appreciate if you reach out to me at, uh, at Skeptic Susanna on Twitter or uh, Susanna at AtheistRepublic.com is my email because I'd like to read more of this report. I just don't speak German. So if you feel up to the task, please uh, reach out. Okay, so I think I've been fair to Sarah by highlighting her comment, even though we didn't read it. Um, all right. All right. Okay, let's news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. So